Okay, bathroom confession. It's like way in time already. It's January 24th, 2013. And I'm so nervous to go in there and weigh in. Um, my teammates have lost some. One of them lost 10. One lost four. One lost one. One lost one and a half. And I think one lost six. So I'm, I'm nervous and I don't want to go in there. But I need to go, so I'm trying to build my courage to just get on and go. So wish me luck, guys. Oh my gosh, we're gonna close. Alright. You can step on when you're ready. Actually, one of the most beautiful cabbages on the market. But there are some really beautiful cabbages that, that we grow, and we'll be offering those later in the season. So, okay, I think we probably uh, went over, and we appreciate all your time. We hope that you saw a few things that you might be interested in. If you have any questions, you can find me at compostinmyshoe.com. Um, my website, I've spent long hours. I do all the photography work for it. I do all the writing for it. Um, a company, a local company called Fuzzco put it together for me. So by yourself too, um, and we can easily email y'all lots of recipes. And as you kind of make it through the program, you're going to find that um, y'all will start sharing a lot healthier soup recipes. Also, I think soup is great because it helps fill you up, um, and you can really load up on a ton of vegetables that way too. Okay, so what about this guy? Is potassium good for me or bad for me? Good. You're not always going to see potassium on the pig label. I'll tell you that much. Potassium is fantastic. Um, potassium is kind of like does the exact opposite from your blood pressure of what sodium does. If sodium raises your blood pressure, guess what potassium does? It lowers your blood pressure. So which foods are high in potassium? Bananas. Bananas. What else? Dark greens. Dark greens. Pretty much anything that's really good for you, right? How many of you are having trouble with leg cramps? or toe cramps or anything from all this exercise. You can be honest. I mean, I eat very healthy and I still get them every single day. Um, if you are having this problem, I highly suggest you add a banana to your diet every day. I think you, you'll really see some really major differences in the way you start feeling. Um, if you don't care for bananas, definitely try one of the other foods like an orange. Janice said like take too. a supplement. Um, and I highly suggest you maybe take a good multivitamin if you're still cramping up all the Janice time. Make sure you're getting those potassium levels. Um, what else do you really need to do if you're ramping up? Drinking a lot of water. Um, so be real careful if you're staying well hydrated, especially if you're really big and sweating. Okay. All right, so if you saw total carbohydrates, 31 grams, would you eat it or put it back? You'd put it back? Eat it. Carbohydrates are just like anything else. You've got to use your eyeballs. Okay, so. If this was a um, piece of white bread, would I eat it or put it back? Put, put it back. back. You have to look at the food label, right? You've just got to look for colors. I don't want to eat any of the white stuff anymore, right? So no more white bread, white pasta, white rice, right? Any of those white foods, no more, right? Has that been hard to give up? It has. It's just one of those things, I promise you, um, the more you avoid it, you don't even think about it anymore. It is Charles. So what is the big problem, white rice? So how much white rice were you eating before the program? Come and get your baseball and your 30-minute massage. We're not actually going to give you a massage right now. But, but it's a nice gift for, for your mother. I'll let them present them. Okay, so this week, the two River Dogs uh, baseballs. The first one is going to a girl 
who has got incredible dedication. She works really hard during the workouts and goes to every single, or goes to exercise classes nonstop. She does extra workouts on the side and she's just a great team person all around. So, Notorious Coleman. He actually just recently had a liver transplant. He is working incredibly hard out on the track. Um, he's doing stairs like a champ. Uh, he's doing all the extra workouts on the side. He's truly working incredibly hard. He definitely deserves it. So, William Ragnell. Hope. You gotta be in first. Fourth place is Leslie Thrasher. Wow. Uh, third place is Mary Pat Roach. Second place is Notorious Coleman. And first place is Denise Kim. <laughs> By percentage of weight loss, uh, in 10th place is Mary Fabian. Ninth place, Pamela Sexton. Eighth place, Jennifer Roman. Let's go, Jen! Seventh place, Vicki Ravnell. Sixth place, Patty Crothers. Fifth place, Stephanie Pierce. I don't feel bad now. At least my teammate number Fourth one. Fourth place, Denise Kimbra. <laughs> Third place, Patricia Mitchell. <laughs> Second place, Notorious Coleman. <laughs> and in first place is Mary Pat Rowe. <laughs> in place, Center for Therapeutic Massage. <laughs> Come on, y'all. We gotta get at least ninth third. place Culinary Institute. We gotta get at least third. In eighth place, we have the Wycliffe House and Triangle. <laughs> Seventh place, Moss Construction. <laughs> Sixth place, Jody Van. Oh, they dropped. They dropped. They dropped. Fifth place, Colonial Chemicals. <laughs> Fourth place. CCPRC. Oh, uh, <laughs> top three. Coming in third place, the Road Dogs. Yeah. Second place, Lucy Mortgage. Yeah. And first place, Halston Spa. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Come on, it's only 11,000 people watching. Right. Why are you not looking at the camera? To YouTube, we can't hear you. Hard. We can't hear you. <laughs> Screech. <laughs> you want to say something, Megan? Thumbs say up. anything. <laughs> okay, so today is January 24th, 2013. Um, I just came in from my meeting. So I recorded a bit of snippets and I have to admit today was 
a very humbling day for me. Um, I came to grips with a bunch of things. So I'll start with um, how I was feeling. So I recorded a little brief segment. And before I weighed in, I got so nervous. Like, I don't know what feeling came over me. But I got extremely nervous and did not want to get on a scale at all. And I got like such anxiety from it that I had to go like to my um, trainer and like try to calm down and everything like that before I even went to get on the scale. So after I stepped on the scale, um, last weigh in I was 283.6 I believe or point. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think 283.6 and my weight now is 279.2. So I lost 4.4 pounds and when I saw that, I was devastated. So all this week, um, I worked out with my team workout and then I usually also did either a personal workout or I did a class. So I made sure that I burned at least 1,200 calories every day because I eat 1,200 calories. Whatever calories I put in my mouth, I wanted to, you know, burn them off so that it was like I had ate nothing. But you need to eat a minimum of 1,200 calories in order to fuel your body, but you can burn as many as you want. So once I knew that, I wanted to burn at least 12. And so I had been putting in so much work and so much effort, I thought for sure I would had lost at least 6 pounds. And that was my goal for this week, to lose at least 6 pounds. So when I saw that it was only 4, I was devastated and I couldn't be, I can't pretend like I wasn't disappointed in myself because I really was. Because... I don't know. I knew it wasn't going to be a very high number because I had came on my menstrual this week and I was really bloated. And so I knew it wasn't going to be a high number. I knew that for sure. But I thought for sure it would be at least 12. I mean not 12. 6. 6 pounds. So when I saw 4 I cried. And I cried and I did not want to go back into the meeting. I didn't want to do anything and my team was trying to comfort me and it just wasn't working. I went to talk to my trainer and you know he was like four pounds is great. You know you're only supposed to lose one to two pounds and it just wasn't settling with me. So I have what I call my personal mentor who has been through this program I think two years ago and she's now lost in total 126 pounds. So she texted me and told me she was coming to the meeting and I told her, you know, that I had only lost four pounds and I was feeling very disappointed. And so she ended up coming to the meeting and she sat by me and she sent me a text message telling me to pray to ask God to calm my spirit because 4.4 pounds was great. And I need to focus on the overall goal and stop focusing on these minor increments. So... I sat there throughout the meeting and I just began to accept the four pounds for what it was. I mean, I couldn't change it. It was already there and done. And so after that, I just enjoyed the rest of the meeting and we learned about the different types of greens and about CSAs, which are community service agricultures, where pretty much you buy into a farm and then they exchange, they give you fresh produce every week. So I am hoping I can get the money to do that. I think it's $200 for 12 weeks or something like that. So that way I don't have to worry about getting fresh fruits and vegetables throughout the rest of this program. They'll already be available to me and it will give me things to try that I probably would have never thought of to try. So hopefully I can get the money for that. And what else did we learn? We learned about some nutrition about more about reading the labels and salt intake and stuff like that and what else this week I tried to incorporate more carbs I am a bread lover 
So that has been my struggle. I know I struggle with bread, so I try to avoid any type of carbs. So my carbs have been really, really low the first week. And so I tried to bring them up this week. So I need to um, start eating brown rice or something like that in order to get carbs. So this week I just tried to eat like one piece of bread for lunch with some deli meat which is boar's head oh my god that meat is so good the barbecue chicken flavor oh love it but i'm also watching my sodium intake because it still has quite a bit of sodium in it so but i've been good on that as well um what else to share this week we did some intense workouts i'll probably post some pictures that i posted on instagram here today we did um a pool workout so that was interesting but it didn't burn enough calories for me so my trainer also made me do like this defense style workout where we used a ladder and ran some sprints and did some step ups all back to back and then that still wasn't enough so we did a little bit of kickboxing and then I did a little bit of treadmill and I got up to my 1200 calorie a day goal next week um, and also this week I increased my water intake to about I, average, I did on average 12 to 15 cups a day. I tried to hit 15 every day today. I didn't really do it because after the weigh-in, I was feeling so sorry for myself. I didn't really feel like eating, so I didn't drink much. I also introduced chia seeds into my diet. And if you don't know what chia seeds are, they're, they're what I think the chia pet came from, those seeds. But they're high in fiber and they're high in like omega-3 fatty acids and I don't eat fish but that's one of the things I will be trying for next week is trying to incorporate I think tilapia and also incorporating more vegetables because my personal mentor Blair said that I'm not eating enough vegetables so I'm going to try that as well as eating some brown rice and she wants me to try to leave the bread alone since it's processed or try to eat less of it so I probably only have bread maybe once or twice next week and that's it almond butter is another thing I switched from peanut butter to almond butter this week since um, my peanut butter had a little bit of trans fat in it and I didn't we're not supposed to eat trans fat at all so I switched to almond butter it's all natural almond butter from Trader Joe's um, what else did I do different um I don't know that's it so oh so I'm gonna tell you about our place and everything so last week you guys know I was in first place um, for most pounds lost and fourth place for percentage of body fat loss this week I lost 4.4 pounds 4.4 pounds so in total I lost 18.4 pounds and um, in two weeks and then what else oh I am second place in pounds lost which I'm still happy about and I'm even more happy because first place is one of my teammates she lost 11.8 pounds last week and 10 pounds this week so she's doing a thing and I don't know if you watch but sometimes she watch my videos so good job um what else another one of my teammates came in eighth place for pounds lost so she's doing amazing as well so we on our team we have three people in the top ten um what else oh for a percentage um of body fat loss i went from fourth place i'm now in second place so i'm excited about that as well and hopefully i can insert the you know the image as well of um the you know the newsletter thing that they did last time to show you the listing and my team is still in fourth place so we're still hanging in there holding on strong but this is my vlog entry number four so i'm still going on strong and i'm still excited about this program this program has helped me grow not only mentally so i guess my new motto i guess for the rest of the program is i must grow mentally in order for me to prepare to shrink physically but that's it guys gotta go it's 10 minutes already thanks for your support